That guy goes, is this considered a pit bike? And I go, no, nah, I don't think so, because I think a pit bike is not street legal. Well, this actually has a license plate. And he's like, oh, oh wow, okay, you got a license plate. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, it's called the Honda Grom. And he's all the what? I'm on, it's G-R-O-M. It's really cheap, really slow, and really fun. What are you doing, dude? Don't cut me off. Yeah, don't cut me off, I'm not wearing gear. <laughs> Anyway, um, I wanted to make a video to encourage people to wear gear. So kind of stupid that I'm starting it off not wearing gear. But I'm like the rest of you guys. You know, I, I do stupid stuff. And I, I don't know. I just, I don't want to hear about anyone getting messed up. So I want to make a video talking about why you should wear gear. And I got a really good idea from my neighbor the other day. And I was talking about it. Um, on the way up to the rock store the other day but the whole first half of the video got used for a different video so I had to refilm the start of the video so here it is I figured I would talk about a couple of words that I heard a long time ago and the whole point of this is to gross you out and to make you think about wearing your gear next time you go and ride and I actually squitted out the other day. I got home from work. I had all my gear on and I rode home from work and I got home and I took everything off and I was hanging out for a few and I was working in the garage. It was hot out still. And I was like, you know what? I kind of want to go get a, uh, a drink. And so I threw on my gloves and my helmet and I hopped back on this Super Duke here and I just rode up to the store and grabbed a drink, threw it in my backpack and then, you know, turned around and came back home. But it was so freaking scary, dude. Uh, like the whole time I was riding in my shorts and my short sleeve shirt, uh, and I was just like looking down at my bare legs and I was thinking to myself, if anything happens, if anything happens, man, if I hit a little bit of gravel, if a car comes out in front of me and I'm stupid with the front brake or anything, if, if anything happens, I am going to be a wasted mess and I am going to be so freaking pissed at myself for not wearing my gear. I got back home from the store and my neighbor was out, like he had opened his garage door. Like in the time that I went down to the store and came back, he had opened his garage door and he was like starting to wash his car. And, and I pull up and I'm just wearing like my shorts and my t-shirt. And he goes, he goes, don't tell me you rode home from work like that. I go, hell no, man, are you kidding me? You know, like, I'm like, dude, it was scary enough just like riding to the store and back. I'm like, I just rode up to the store to grab a beer and I didn't want to put all my stuff on, you know, like I didn't want to throw all my gear back on because I just got home and took it all off. And, and he's like, yeah, he's like, dude, it's a sketchy feeling, huh? And I'm like, hell yeah. And he starts laughing and he's like, yeah, he's like, a lot of people don't even know why, uh, why they call it squidding or whatever. And I'm all, I'm all, why, you know, like what, you know, like what's the real reason? And he goes, go to the market, you know, and like buy, he's like, they sell squid, they, they sell like oct octopus, you know, and he's like, buy one of those. He's all, bring it home from the store. He's all, you know, just like raw, you know, like uncooked freaking squid. He's all, and go out in front of your house and throw it down on the ground. He's all just on the street. He's all just go boop, and throw that down on the ground. He's all, and look at it. He's all, and that is what you're going to see if somebody gets in a crash and they're not wearing gear. And I go, ah, oh, that is disgusting, you know? And he goes, hey, he goes, that's where it actually came from. He goes, that's where that term actually came from. And I'm like, no, like, I don't know. I've never heard like uh, what, uh, I don't know. Like I always just pictured like literally, you know, like a cartoon of a squid, you know, like not wearing any gear, just being like, Woo! like with his tentacles, like flying in the wind. That's what I always picture. And like, to me, it's just kind of like, like a funny, like a cartoon kid type of thing. That's how I think about it. Um, but when he said uh, like the way that he said it, the way that he put it, it, it was very serious. And, and <laughs> I didn't like it near as much. It, was, it wasn't near as entertaining. And uh, uh, so it's like, think about that, you know, like, like you, you take a squid, throw that sucker down on the ground and it just hits the ground. And he's like, that's what you're gonna see when, when you go to a motorcycle accident and the guy is not wearing gear. There's gonna be some chunk of meat laying on the ground. And 
I was just like, dude, that is disgusting. And usually I don't try to like gross you guys out, but I think when it comes to like wearing gear, you need to think about the freaking reality of that. And I heard a term a long time ago, and it's, it's two simple words. The word meat, you know, meat, <laughs> meat. And the word crayon. Crayons, you all know what crayons are. All right, but when you put those two words together, meat, crayon, meat, crayon. That's what you are. You're a freaking meat crayon, and this right here is the paper, all right? And that's, that's how a guy put it. And I was like, dude, that is freaking disgusting. He's all, yeah. He's all, think about someone just holding you and writing on the ground. And it, it just, you're a freaking meat crayon, dude. It, it, it has stuck in my mind. I don't talk about stuff like that. I mean, this is the first time I think I've made a video like talking about that or whatever. But uh, hopefully it is. <laughs> I don't try to gross people out, you know, but I think that in order to, to make a strong enough point, with this, uh, I think I kind of want to gross you guys out. A lot of people will be like, oh, well, gear's not going to pr protect you from like a broken bone or whatever. It's like, no, uh, you know, like, like having a jacket on is not going to keep you from breaking your arm. You know, like having a glove on is not going to keep you from breaking your wrist, you know, something like that. But at the same time, if you just slide down the road, you're not going to get ground down to the bone and need surgery after surgery of skin grafts to, to fix you. Like in the circumstance that you don't break a bone, it's gonna save everything else. So, wear your gear. Don't turn into a squid. Don't, don't turn into a meat crayon. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Be safe out there. Peace.